saying a lot of loud vehicles around up in here. Hey, it just got we still chilling like villains. Yes. Chilling like villains. Oh yeah, back to my uh I keep calling this smoke, but it's not really mm. And you know what? Um I, we haven't been spooked since we brought Katie home in November. Yep. I didn't get no signs, no feelings, no... No, since we... Oh man, we just kept bugging our investigator though. We kept bugging them to bring out the helicopter. Because we're reaching out to all our elders. And our gifted... Oh, our gifted elders. And they said Jamie can be seen by a bird's eye view. And so we just kept bugging our investigators, put out the helicopter, Jamie can be seen by a bird's eye view. And, and finally, November 12th, they, and you know what? They kind of waited. They were like, well, wait till the fall when the trees, you know, leaves are falling or whatever. Finally, they did it. November 12th and I woke up to I keep, yeah I kind of woke up to the call I woke up and went to my my mother-in-law's and she's the best I love her and my best friend called me and she told me I should go home because the helicopters found a body in a beaver dam and I was like Lennox is two and a half hours away from where I live. I had two and a half hours of just emotions, of crying, of thinking of everything. Which is crazy. I drove, we drove to Lennox a lot of times in the summer looking for Jamie. And we would always see these eagles flying around. In each spot, like in Winslow, in Hunter River, I can name these eagles off where I think the nests are. But when we were driving that day, these eagles were like perched under a tree watching me drive by. All of them. There was not one eagle fly here. And that was another sign to me. Holy freak. <laughs> I even told John, I was like, it's crazy. They're all perched. They're all perched on a tree. And I'm driving home to Lennox. After they found Jamie. Crazy, right? Man, spirit family always falls through with you. I can't deny that. And it was powerful at the time. And I was such a mess, like my heart just was like broken. I mean, I knew, I knew something really bad happened. But when they tell you that what you thought is true is just so heartbreaking. And, and like I said, Jamie was so gifted. He told us that he wasn't going to live long, like he was going to die young. And even then, I was all like, young boy? What the heck? <laughs> Jeez. I didn't think it'd be this way. But he knew. And I kind of want to kick myself for not asking him, like, how or, you know. Like, I never really asked him much about his gift. I'm just glad we found him and took him home. And he's always with us. He's proven it all year. I had lots of good signs. Jamie's okay. He was with my gram. Oh my goodness, even on her birthday. 
Oh. Oh, so powerful. I was like praying to my grandma and everything. And then I started making a pulse about it. And then I looked up and there was this eagle flying by with this other eagle right next to it. I knew it was my grandma and I knew it was Jamie, man. Ooh. Spirits are strong. I love it. And it just made me feel really good. Like, really good. I'm okay. My grandma's okay. Jamie's okay. Ooh, we're going to be okay from this. We're going to get justice. We are. This didn't break us. This is making us. We're going to help a lot more people from all this. That's the kind of people we are. If we grew up, this is the kind of family we are. We're going to take this loss and flip it. Yes. Let other people know that they're not alone, you know? We want to hard. Listen to your dreams. Listen to your gut. Listen to your ancestors. Because they're out there. They don't want us suffering. We came here to learn. And... It's even sad to say, but Jamie had, even us just growing up, it was a struggle on the rest. It wasn't easy. I left when I was 15. But we always pulled through together. Like, I... I could never forget my siblings at home, man. I always went back home. Every chance I could, I was back home. I love my siblings. I didn't truly leave them, but I was always right there to step in when my mom needed me to, and I did. I don't know, man. Sometimes you just gotta find your own path. You gotta do it. Be there for those who, you know, need you, no matter what. Family is very important. Your siblings are number one. If not even your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, your mom, your dad. Everybody has a huge impact on your life. And it's up to you to fight which ones you want to keep. Because sometimes you can look at one of your parents and think, you know, they're such a mess or whatever the issue is. And it's so easy to walk away, right? It's so easy just to let them deal with that. And sometimes all they need is to be known that they're loved. They just want to know they're loved and support it. It's not for us to judge. I never ever judged Jamie's life. Sure, sometimes I was like, bro, what you thinking? It's not the best. I have did the whole sibling speech with him plenty of times. <laughs> but it's it's his life. You know, he's in the jail for his own decisions before. He's learned his own lessons. Gee. But I always let him know that I'm always here. I'll help him out. I'll support him. Fuck, I love him. I love all my family. Just as much as I pulled through for Jamie, searching for him, finding him, and bringing him home. Like, not just me, my whole family, like, all my siblings, my mom, my dad, my cousins, aunties, and uncles, our community, we went hard. You know, we did it. And we found 
I don't know what happened. We got justice. And justice is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad we got justice, but... I didn't know what I was expecting it to feel like because it honestly... It still hurts. It does. Oh my bro, he always goes through. He's like, girl, don't dwell on that shit. You got justice. You found me, you took me home, and you got justice. Look at the beauty in life, and man, I'll see the most beautiful freaking sunsets, sunrise, clouds, hummingbirds, everything. Everything beautiful. I don't want to plant my feet right back down to the ground and I'm humble. I know he's okay. I can't dwell. Fuck. I just try to embrace life, you know? Enjoy the beauty of things while well, it's my time here. Jeez, tomorrow's never promised. Or so I'm lucky. You know, we made a promise to find Jamie and bring him home, and we did that. It's not easy, and it's, it gets pretty heavy carrying all these emotions, but our family, they're the ones keeping us going. They're the ones keeping our fucking fire lit, I swear to God. Without them, I don't know where we would be. They're the ones keeping us lit. They're my fuel. So yeah. I shed a lot of tears today, but tonight it's all about my bro. We happy, we reminiscing. Thinking about all the good times. Him fucking being clumsy as shit. Goofy. Supportive. I was looking at my B caps today and I was like, Jamie helped me pay for some of these B caps one time. Yeah, and they're from the States. He helped me. He's he was so supportive. So when he got into beating and not beating, but he got it into harvesting and creating his own art with birch. Oh I supported him, I loved him. Jeez. So it's family the boat, man. Support it and love them. Don't judge. No. All Jamie's crazy life, whatever he did and done, his day came and... You know what? Even then. Oh, he's got his wings because he pulled through for us after that. He's a good young man. And don't get me wrong. When it's our time to pass, we're going to reflect on our lifetime. We're going to reflect on all the good and the bad of the people we touched. And just embrace it. You know, whatever Jamie had an impact on my life, whatever the flash was of that from his eyes to mine or mine to his. He's always going to be my baby brother. I always loved him. There's a lot of stuff, like, who doesn't though? Like, geez, even when I was a kid, I didn't have an older sibling to tell me what to do and what not to do. <laughs> And I was like that with all my siblings. Like, I didn't... I told them, but I didn't, didn't judge them. I didn't go say... No, because that's not for me. This is their freaking life. This is their life path. It's not for me to freaking plan this stuff out. Don't get me wrong. People try to tell me about Jamie and his relationships. And 
Who am I? Who am I to tell my brother whatever? He ain't gonna listen to me anyway. Half time he don't. But I always did let him know how I felt about him. You know, how we should treat our Mi'kmaq women. He had sisters, strong ass sisters. So he, he didn't like making us disappointed. So he really tried hard to be a good man. Just like us, man, we try really hard to be good women. Jeez, not easy. Not easy being good women after the upbringing we had. We're the cycle breakers. It's not even fun being a cycle breaker. Because we're trying to heal and deal and try to find out where you know, where our parents are coming from with their cycle and healing and trauma and it takes a lot. It's a lot. I wouldn't be where I was if it wasn't for my aunties and my spiritual family helping me. But yeah, tonight's all about Jamie and I love this shit. Me and Jesse be big chilling. Yeah. Peace out, guys.